Okay, here I am. Normally I would hold the spindle between my legs while I monkey with this part, but I need to move around. So it is my um, um, feet. <laughs> I am like a chimp with an opposable toe. Okay, I actually am really good with my feet. Um, because I've had, like, serious arthritic bouts, and you need to use your toes when it hurts to bend over. Okay, here you go. I'm going to, um, ply that part, my single, and add that on. That was opposite of what I, no, okay, that was opposite of what I spun the single. So then I'm going to wind it back on. See, I'm getting plied yarn here, and I'll be able to just knit straight from this which is pretty stinking fun okay we'll do this one more time or two more times I don't know try to figure out how to okay I, um, I wrap it around the hook twice or three times or four times whatever floats your boat and then I go ahead and get my fiber source out of the way should use a distaff or stick it in my sleeve I did not okay so now I'm going to start this single again and um it would have a more balanced spin if I used my spun against my leg instead of my fingers because my fingers can make it go wonky. But um, part of the reason why it will seem unbalanced is because woo, because it's wrapped two, three times around the hook, which causes the um, um, hook to be a little off balance off balance for the process but it does enough because you don't you you don't you generally do quite as long as a length when um when you're doing the novel plan okay so I did that single and I'm taking the loop that was existing from the previous plying little bit feeding my single through it just like a crochet chain meeting it up to um, where the single was spun, wrapping it back around the hook, and now going in the opposite direction that my single was spun so that I can get my ply. And now I'll wrap it on and start the process over. I will do this one more time, hoping there's time on my video. I don't even know if you want to see it, but I'm doing it. Okay, you can turn it off. Okay, here you go. The loop is sticking out, or would stick out if I let it. See the little loop from the previous plied part? Start put, twisting my single up. Should I make it fat? I pre-drafted this so I could, um, um, what? So it was ready to go on an airplane because, um, yeah, because it's just darn fun. Anyways. And if people think you're a little bit nuts on the plane, they don't bother you. <laughs> um, don't you hate it when you want to relax on the plane and people want to start talking about the weather? Okay, so then I got my single, take it back to that loop here, find my loop, grab it like a uh, normal, you know, stick your finger in there like you're pulling a little girl's hair through a um, point out through a rubber band, grab your single, pull it up so you get your three t strands together and hook it on the hook again and now reverse your twist so that it gives you your ply. Sometimes you don't even have to spin back in reverse because it'll want to do it on its own. But here you go. Let's see if I can focus. No, I'm not focused. Here you go. Oh, cool necklace, huh? She. Okay. Um, um, there you go, it's plied, um, and you can see it's plying as I go, trying to focus, I don't know how do I focus, where's the camera, Woo! so there you go, um, and I'll just keep doing that, and this is, obviously I'm doing it slow for filming purposes, it actually can go quite fast, and why don't we do that always, oh, because, because, I do actually do it quite a bit, because, you don't necessarily want to know the whole ply everything, but it is a darn um, handy technique for when you want to have limited tools with you and want to get that yarn right away.
Okay, there you go. Going for that single again. And after I do the single, I'll stop, grab that loop, 